Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to Architects Attack. In this video, I am going to explain you types of brick bonds with the help of this mini bricks. And at the end of the video, I'll show you a simple trick how to remember all these types of brick bonds. Uh, the bonds which I am going to explain you in this video are stretcher bond, header bond, English bond, Flemish bond, rat trap bond. At the end of the video, I'll show you a simple trick. It's just a simple trick. Uh, if you see it once, you will be remembering all the types of bonds. So before going there, I'll explain all the types of bonds one by one, one by one. And ha, I have explained the same topics in Hindi, but a few viewers were requesting me or few subscribers were requesting me to make it in English also like they don't understand hindi so i'm making this for them so let's start so guys before moving further let me explain you some brick terminologies so after knowing this you'll be understanding the topics better or the brick bonds better so let me just explain you this uh, all of you know that this is a brick okay. this phase of brick is called stretcher or stretcher phase this and this phase and this phase and this phase these are called header phase and the above phase uh, which have a logo or some mark inside this is called frog and the face which is plain and uh, which is down the brick this is called bed so once again i'll tell you this is header face this is stretcher face this is frog and this is bed and these edges are called arrays so let's start stretcher bond so let's start with stretcher bond in this type of bond what we do is as i told you this part of brick is or this face of brick is called as stretcher so in stretcher bond what we make sure is in elevation whenever we are seeing from elevation like we are seeing from this side no so this this part comes in elevation so whenever we are seeing from elevation all we see is stretchers like we have got here one header and stretcher 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 and in this layer from this side we are seeing stretcher 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 like this and when we come up to next layer we should avoid this straight line and straight joints like we can't place a brick over this brick so we have to break these joints so that's why i'm placing this brick like this so that we can break this joint and one two three so as as you can see in this type of in this uh, layer also we are uh, we can see only stretcher 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 and from this side also stretcher stretcher so this type of bond is called stretcher bond because in elevation we are seeing only stretchers i hope you got it header bond as you know this part of brick or this face of brick is known as header so in header bond what we see is in elevation whenever we see a header bond wall in elevation we only get to see headers 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 so let me start uh, let us start with 3 by 4 band when one brick is divided into four equal parts and one part is removed when uh, three part of bricks is remaining then it's called three by four bat so first of all we are go we are placing this three by four bats two three by four bats like this and like this headers 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 from elevation if we see this is header 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 and this is also header 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 and from this side like uh, from this side these two are headers and these two are also headers this is one course and one course or one layer uh, as we have to avoid these joints like vertical joints so we can't place this like this so we have to place this three by four mats like this this way and again header 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 like this and from this side also header header like this make sure that uh, frog is upside and this bed is downside 
uh, this here a frog is not upside because these are plain bricks only three to four bricks i have made with frogs uh, if you want to see this you can check my playlist bricks you will get to see how to make bricks mini bricks over there i hope you got it english bond in english bond what we see is uh, this is stretcher and this is header so in english bond what we see one layer of header in elevation and one layer of stretcher face in elevation so let's start i will make you and show what is english bond and we need a queen closer to make a english bond what is queen closer let me explain you when we when we divide this brick vertically in two equal parts like this then it's called a queen closer so as i said you in english bond there is a one layer is of header and one another layer is of uh, stretcher in elevation so let's start this way like this is header in elevation and this is queen closer and all other bricks what we are placing is like header 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 from this face and from this side from this side as it's a stretcher from this side all bricks what we are placing is like stretcher stretcher so this is first course or odd course you can see here it's header 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 and stretcher 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 in another another layer what we are going to do is if it's header down up it should be stretcher stretcher and if it's stretcher down up it should be header so let's place it like we have to uh, as we have to avoid this vertical joints we can't place it like this we have to place it like this down it's header header and upside it will come stretcher 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 and as it's header from this side we have to place a queen closer like this and all other all other faces will be header header from this side like this when we see it from elevation it will be like header 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 and this side we need to place two more bits as you can see as there is a definition of english bond one layer will be header one layer will be stretcher and from this side down layer is stretcher and upside layer is stretcher this is odd course this is even course i hope you got it so this is called uh, english bond flemish bond so in flemish bond what we see in a same course we see both header and stretcher faces like if you, we are if we are laying odd layer or even even layer in every layer we see both header face and stretcher face let me make it and show you then you understand it better so this is a header in elevation from elevation if we see it from this side this is a header and another thing what we are going to place here is this is a queen closer if we uh equally divide a brick into two equal halves like this vertically then we will get a queen closer so this is a header from elevation and this is queen closer and again this is a header so next we are going to place here is stretcher header stretcher one more again header and again stretcher so this is called flemish bond from this side let me place it and show you here it's a, a stretcher from this side no from this elevation so next we are going to place here is header face like this and like this stretcher face stretcher like stretcher header stretcher another another layer how we will be placing is as we have to avoid this kind of vertical joints so we can't place brick like this one above the other we have to place this brick like this and one more queen closer and let's keep a header over here and it's stretcher from this side then we have to place next is header stretcher header again stretcher 
again header again stretcher so this thing continues and from this side we have a one header from this side if we look it from this side then it's a header face so we have to place like stretcher and after this one more is header so this is called flemish bond in a same course in a matlab in a single course we'll be seeing both stretcher and header faces uh head, stretcher face header face stretcher face header face stretcher face and below also header face stretcher face header face stretcher face same from this side also so this is flemish bond rat trap bond so what is rat trap bond uh before ex before explaining you rat trap bond let me just remind you about uh flemish bond so if you know flemish bond you will be knowing rat trap bond this is, there is a just uh, simple thing you need to remember this is a flemish bond in flemish bond what it is like in from elevation we are able to see header and stretcher both in one layer like header header see header stretcher header stretcher from this side from uh, if we see from elevation stretcher header stretcher header so Uh, rat trap bond is also same only uh, the difference is there is no cavity in between this in rat trap bond we'll get a cavity if we are placing brick like this in a same manner then it's a flemish bond if we are placing brick like this like if we are placing it like this it's a flemish bond if we are placing brick like this then it's a rat trap bond let me just change it let me remove this queen closer from this like queen uh, see queen closer is removed and just we are what we are doing is we are doing placing brick like this and like this see and now we are placing this brick like this like this so that a cavity is found in between this is nothing but a rat trap bond if you know english bond you will be knowing rat trap bond if you know rat trap bond you will be knowing uh, sorry not english bond if you know flemish bond you will be knowing rat trap bond if you know rat trap bond you will be knowing flemish bond as simple as it is see like this only we have to uh, change this bricks positions in uh, in flemish in flemish bond we will be seeing stretcher in elevation in rat trap bond we will be seeing bed of brick like this is a frog and this is this side of brick is known as bed na so in elevation what we are going to see is bed of brick see a cavity is formed a trap is formed if a rat enters this uh, it will get trapped that's why it's this type of bond is known as rat trap bond see another layer i'll place and keep i'll keep and show you we can't keep this like this so why because we have to avoid this vertical joints so let's place it like this like this and see one bed and another we have to keep like this header and see like this stretcher or bed like this so this is a rat trap bond another layer from this side as we have here header we are going to place like stretcher or bed stretcher from upside like from plan if we see there it's a stretcher and header like this so this is called rat trap bond if you see it from above if something gets inside it will get trapped that's why it's called rat trap bond this is nothing but a cavity in between and it's also known as cavity wall i don't make videos often in english so i don't have a practice of speaking so fast in english so please do ignore if i do little bit mistakes or i stuck somewhere in between i hope you got what is rat trap bond if you like the video please like it share it subscribe it if you understood it uh, 
I also have an Instagram page architecture tag you can follow go and follow there so as I said you at the end of the video I'll show you a simple trick to remember all these bonds like stretcher bond header bond English bond Flemish bond rat trap bond so here's the trick here is the trick simple trick to remember brick bonds as you know where is this brick see this is a brick see this is a brick this part this face is called stretcher this is called header so what is header bond let's start with stretcher bond what is stretcher bond if in elevation we see stretchers in a course this is called stretcher bond if in elevation we see headers headers only like headers headers then this is called header bond see this is stretcher bond if we see stretchers in elevation it's called stretcher bond if we see headers in elevation this is called header bond if what is in english bond then next e n g l i s h english bond so english bond is nothing but plus plus of these two bonds like stretcher plus header if we are seeing headers below or below stretcher whatever it may be like alternate layers if we are seeing alternate layers of one is one layer is of headers and another layer is of stretchers as a stretcher sorry this is stretcher stretcher like one layer is of header and one layer is of stretcher it may be opposite like down layer is stretcher and uh, up layer is header if we are seeing one layer of header one layer of stretcher then it's english bond okay this is stretcher s is stretcher if you are seeing stretchers in elevation stretcher bond headers in elevation header bond if we are doing plus of stretcher plus header like one layer header one layer stretcher then it's english bond and if we multiply this like s into h like in a same layer we are seeing one is stretcher and another is header one is stretcher one is header and another is stretcher and 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 also same other layer also one is stretcher and header for stretcher and header stretcher like this so then this is called flemish bond okay flemish bond stretcher header and stretcher bond header bond s plus h english bond s into h flemish bond so what is rat trap bond then rat trap bond if you know flemish bond same is rat trap bond what is the difference in rat trap bond is in flemish bond in elevation you see stretcher in rat trap bond you see bed in elevation this is bed you see like this bed header bed so this is rat trap bond i'll place it and show you see this is the placement of simple this is the placement of flemish bond if we place bricks like this like this then this is a rat trap bond so it's a simple trick this is the way how i remember all these bonds like it's easy yeah, but it's confusing also uh, you get confused many times there are chances that uh, there are chances that sometimes you think this is flemish bond and this is english bond like it will be too confusing so if you remember this you will be easily remembering these bonds okay